The mistakes we make as investors is when the market's going up, we think it's going to go up forever. When the market goes down, we think it's going to go down forever. Neither of those things actually happen. Doesn't do anything forever. It's by the moment. If you have trouble imagining a 20% loss in the stock market, you shouldn't be in stocks. We live in a very risky world and investors should not get carried away with excessive allocations to equities, or for that matter, real estate. As always asset allocation and Low cost and broad diversification will be essential in earning one's fair share of whatever returns our financial markets are generous enough to bestow upon us. It's very difficult for any particular segment of the stock market to sustain superior performance. The watchword for our financial markets is, reversion to the mean, i.e. what goes up must come down, and it's true more often than you can imagine. The miracle of compounding returns has been overwhelmed by the tyranny of compounding costs. If you're very talented and keep winning, you'll do just fine. It may take a while. But the talent is hard to identify and talent is hard to tell from luck. There's an awful lot of luck in this business. Past performance is not helpful in judging future performance. We need to reorganize our entire system of retirement plan investing and to develop federal standards of fiduciary duty for pension trustees and fund managers. These require top-down intervention. But we also need investors to look after their own economic interests, a bottom-up approach to our problems that is well within our individual power to undertake. The idea that a bell rings to signal when investors should get into or out of the stock market is simply not credible. After nearly 50 years in this business, I do not know of anybody who has done it successfully and consistently. I don't even know anybody who knows anybody who has done it successfully and consistently. Yet market timing appears to be increasingly embraced by mutual fund investors and the professional managers of fund portfolios alike. 